So I'm starting using my MAC Face and Body Foundation, and I really like this foundation because it never cakes up. It's almost like a BB cream. So I'm using a foundation brush, and I'm going to apply this in streaks across my nose, my forehead, my cheeks, and my chin. And then I'm going to use the brush just to blend it all in. And now I'm also going to use my fingers just so it's less shiny. Now I'm going to use my Revlon Color Stay Foundation and um, I use this instead of the concealer because I used to use the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer but I lost that and this works pretty well. So I'm just going to dot this over my under eye circles and any blemishes I have on my face with my finger. And then I'm just going to blend that in. I'm taking my Bare Minerals Tinted Mineral Veil along with my Bare Minerals Full Flawless Face Brush and I'm just going to buff this powder all over my face so it's completely matte. And now I'm ready to move on to the eyes so I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in preparation for eyeshadow. And now I am taking my Naked palette and I'm taking Sin from it which is a really pretty light champagne color and I'm using a flat shader brush to apply this over my entire eyelid and I know I use my Naked palette way too much in videos um, and you're probably sick of seeing it but this is my everyday makeup tutorial and I wear this pretty much every day. And now using the same brush I'm taking Toasted. And I'm going to pat this onto the outer, like, corner of my eyelid. And I'm just going to, um, like, work that into the crease. And I don't like to go too high because then I think it looks kind of weird, um, which is why I like using a flat shader brush for this instead of a blending brush. Because I find that when I use a blending brush, it always ends up going all the way up to my eyebrow. So I feel like I can be more precise, um, putting eyeshadow in the crease when I use this brush instead. I'm going to use my Eco Tools blending brush to blend out all of the eyeshadows so it's not so harsh. And I'm going to take the color Dark Horse with a blending brush and it's kind of like a darker woody brown color. And I am just going to pat that on the outer corner of my crease and eyelid. And I'm just going to blend that out again with my Eco Tools brush. Um, and be careful not to blend this in too much with the other eyeshadows because you don't want it to get muddy because it's not going to look good if you do that. So make sure that the colors are still really vibrant when you do that. And I'm going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the color Oil Slick. And I'm not going to put this on my like upper lash line because um, the eyeshadow is already super dramatic. So I'm just going to put this on my waterline. And I'm going to curl my eyelashes using this curler that I have no idea where it's from. And then I am going to use their real mascara. And I'm going to put one coat of mascara on each eyelid, eyelash, yeah, on each eye, I guess. Then this is just a close-up of what my eyes look like. Now I'm using this NYX blush in Borgeous Pig, is I think how you pronounce it. Um, and I'm using my Bare Minerals Full Flawless Face Brush, and I'm just going to pat this on the apples of my cheeks. 
and I'm gonna use my NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Pink Rose, and I don't like to wear lipstick on school days just because I think it's too hard to apply lipstick and lip gloss because you're gonna have to reapply it throughout the day, um, so it's just easier for me to put on a quick coat of lip gloss like in the middle of class, so I'm just gonna put on one coat of lip gloss, which I just said. The words you stole won't save your soul. And that was my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!